Web design and social media are constantly changing. The importance for both web design and social media has grown dramatically over the past decade. Businesses hire people just for these positions. Facebook and Twitter, along with Google, Bing, and Yahoo, are equally important for businesses because they are useful avenues for, lo for the location of information. Social media websites are used by businesses to locate information about prospective and current employees, as well as about other companies. Search engines are used to find general information. This is Mac Boatman. He works for Tiger Paw Productions and is a computer science major. He's here to talk about trends in web design and development in the field. So Mac, how has the internet affected the way that we share information? Well, the internet was designed entirely to like, give information from one person to another. It was developed by the military in order to send data from where they're or from one place to another quickly. So the whole internet behind, the basis behind it is for data like transfer. Being a kid of the 90s, I think it's safe to say that we all remember Internet Explorer. Beginning in 1995, there was a series of graphical web browsers that was developed by Microsoft. Since then, we've had more advanced web browsers such as Safari in 2003 and Firefox in 2004. The most recent one is Google Chrome, which, was, which began in 2008. So this is a brief rant about web browsers. The good, the bad, and the ugly. A web browser that comes already installed on a computer such as Safari and Internet Explorer should only be used for one purpose, to download a better web browser. In my experience, Chrome has been the best web browser to date because it syncs with Google Apps and opens all the websites that I need for college in the proper formatting. A lot of web developers prefer Firefox because it has basically been built for development since the beginning and is open source. However, many users find the overwhelming amount of add-ons slows down their web browsing experience. Why don't we ask a professional for his opinion on the subject? Well, I personally use Firefox, but I am a developer myself. Um, the add-ons features like does give you great capability. It is super fast. Chrome, on the other hand, is a little bit faster. It's got some more sleek, you know, touch-ups to it. But overall, they're they're kind of coming in a dead even there. It's just a preference thing. As like Safari and Internet Explorer go, though, Safari you can use. I don't recommend it. There's not whole lot good there. Internet Explorer you just you should never use. It is the worst browser ever. When designed, web pages must be created to be compatible with many different devices of this day and age, from Mac to PC to Linux and from iPhone to Windows Phone to Android and all the different tablets available today, web pages must be developed to function and look correct on a number of different devices. Today's top websites include Google, Facebook, YouTube, Yahoo, Baidu, Wikipedia, Windows Live, QQ, Amazon, and Twitter. All of these sites are used for entertainment, search engines, or email. Baidu and QQ are probably in the top 10 since China is so highly populated.